tombstone. The small one in the middle. Go to it. I don't have much life left in me. I better not waste time. This gravestone belongs to my father's great-grandfather. What now? Read the epitaph. <coughs> what is this supposed to accomplish? I... I don't know. <coughs> but I know it's some kind of strong box. A safe? The gravestone? Yes, and it holds the most powerful secret of our guild. <coughs> the only thing that can stop chaos, or so I hope. Anyway, I don't know how it works. <coughs> I only know the blood of the foreman is the key. My father's blood? <coughs> You'll have to figure this out by yourself, lad. And now, young nail bed. <coughs> young nail bender, time has come for us to part. Edgewise. Be strong. We'll meet again someday in the stainless haven. Goodbye, Hedgewise. Rest in peace. Your sacrifice won't be in vain. And now I should take a look at that gravestone. Vanadium Sharp Saber. 7515? to 7582. Blade master of incomparable skill. His weapons are blacksmith's pride. He signed the Whetstone Bridge Treaty in 7550, ensuring our guild's future and prosperity. Cobble Softstone, 7862 to 7912. Gentle woman, sweet mother, Hard-headed wife, determined blacksmith. Sunshine Brass Heater, 7643 to 7655. Knowing no strife, she helped as she could. A beast took her life as she was carrying firewood. Hey! This sounds incredibly familiar somehow. Poor little girl. Incus Iron Mole. 7925 to 7972. His hammer hit until his heart beat. The tombstone looks completely blank. No name. No epitaph. Nothing. There has to be a way to activate it. Edgewise said something about a key. Glint Woodlighter. 7802 to 7871. Eyes like embers. Skin like coal. The furnace never cooled down as long as she was around. Elm Bronze Carver, 7505 to 7568. Though his hair was thick and curly, his head never ceased to shine brightly. Shell Screen Plater, 7138 to 7231. He walked the earth longer than most, until time claimed his stainless soul. Yet time will never tarnish what he forged.
Rest in peace. Your sacrifice won't be in vain. The area around here is full of brambles. I shouldn't play with them unless I want to prick my fingers. Hmm. Ouch! Thank you. Now my index finger is bleeding. The seal of the blacksmiths. Amazing. Now I understand. The foreman's blood is also my blood. Let's see. Set your heart for the third shade when the sun is falling down. And as the fire is burning bright, strike the anvil with all your might. Bind your soul within the blade. Forge your shield without a frown. Let the sparks fill all your sight. Inure your will. Engage the fight. Hmm. Sunshine Brass Heater, 7643 to 7655. Knowing no she a beat as she Hey, the sun. Poor little girl. It started humming as soon as I touched the surface. Glint up the as long. Incus is Venady Hesa and Shul Shall he? Something's happening. Impossible. What? A pair of gauntlets? Hmm. First I die, then I watch helplessly as a dead one stabs a poor man with his bare hands. Chaos controls the forge. And Edgewise gave his life. For what? For these? I swear it. On behalf of my family, my guild, all blacksmiths, I will rescue you all. I will make them pay for this. I will make them suffer for all the hurt they've caused. You will not get away with this. Chaos! No! What's happening? My hands, they feel like they're on fire. It's these gloves.
felt this incredible surge of energy flowing through me, and I passed out. And then I woke up in the house of a vintner named Brix. So, basically, I need to get back to the surface to free my guild. That's quite a tale, lad. It's more than just a story. I believe you. You do? Yes, the gauntlets you're wearing are proof enough for me. And based on your experience with them, it's exciting to hear their potency was not exaggerated. May I see them? Oh my, what happened to them? All I remember is I was looking over the cliff to where the forge used to stand. I thought I was going to explode. The gauntlets must have detected your anger and impure intention. And you couldn't contain the backlash of energy. I want chaos to pay so dearly. Professor, I have no idea what these are or what happened to me. Is there anything you can tell me to help me save my guild? Let me get something. Ahem. The Gauntlets of the Blacksmiths. So, the cold gauntlets. In the height of blacksmith mastery, the gauntlets stood as a testament to their trade. Housed in each gauntlet were a series of sparks, the source of their power. Sparks were engineered to store the sum of knowledge the guild had gathered. For every metalworking technique or property the blacksmiths had conquered, they also existed a relative schematic to detail the process. The sparks were the key to recreating those schematics. The sparks? They rejected me, didn't they? For a time, the gauntlets brought profit and prosperity for the blacksmiths. But as demand for skilled labor declined, unemployment culminated in revolt. Inevitably, their use was prohibited, and most pairs were ordered to be destroyed. Destroyed? They sound incredibly powerful. But why wasn't I ever told? And where did you get that book? I don't know why you weren't told, Rusty. But as for the book, one of my closest friends is a member of the Guild of Bookbinders. He's accumulated quite a rare private collection which he shares within a close circle. It's been a while since I last saw him. I wonder how he's doing right now. Bookbinder, eh? Is he a short, tiny man, about your same age, with red hair and moustache, perchance? Did you meet him? <clears throat> No, I didn't. Just guessing, that's all. If you say so. Now, back to the book. The Abridged History of Blacksmiths, Volume 4, published 6810. It's a fascinating read. You surface skills are just littered with hidden talents. There's a problem, though, Professor. These gauntlets won't do me much good broken. That's no problem. I'm confident I can repair the receptacles. You can fix these? I cannot recreate the sparks, Rusty, but the vessel should be no problem. It is rather late, though. Why don't you get some sleep? Please use my spare bedroom upstairs for the evening. The curfew for you is going to be quite strict. So I've seen. And sleep sounds like a good idea. I still haven't fully recovered from the fall. Professor, thank you for getting me out of that mess with the guard. For the Prince of Blacksmiths, any time.